Opit Blast presents the power of Opit Dev. With this quick video, we will show you how to set up and operate our system. Chapter 1 The Unboxing Experience The user will receive the Opit Dev hard case in the mail, filled with goodies, to achieve the best possible results. This is a military grade hard case that can withstand harsh environments and is waterproof. Inside the case, the user will find a probe along with a physical quick guide or manual and some accessories. A touch pen to be used in the field, a charger kit for office and car charging, a charger case with the necessary attachments, a carabiner with screw lock for attachment of harness or belt to rope as a safety measure for eventual accidental falls of probe into the borehole. Three carabiners to connect the rope to the probe. An armband to secure your smartphone in place. O-rings for substitution when needed. Grease to lubricate the O-rings when needed. A cleaning towel for maintenance of the probe after use and a marked rope to measure the length of the borehole. In case you lose or forget your quick guide manual, don't worry, you can download it through a QR code presented on the outside of the case. Chapter 2 – Setting up your system After taking the probe out of the case, the user can turn it on by making abrupt movements with the probe, just like the ones on display. LED will become red indicating that the probe is switched on. On the menu, the user should click on the Select Probe tab and the probe should appear on the list of paired devices. Make sure that the Bluetooth and GPS on your smartphone are activated. After that, the user is able to choose which Opit Dev to work with based on a serial number found inside the probe. Having selected the probe, a red vertical bar will appear next to it, to the left. The battery information concerning the probe should appear on the top right corner of the app and the LED will become green. To calibrate the probe, it's necessary to access the tab Calibration Screen, where three kinds of calibrations are available. For the magnetometer, the user needs to make two to three circular movements in the shape of an eight vertical or horizontal, and wait two seconds. For the gyroscope, the user needs to keep the device still on a flat surface for a few seconds. For the accelerometer, the user needs to move the device in different directions and keep it still for five seconds in between moves. Pay attention as the bars will load as the user goes along the calibration process. The IMU bar will automatically load as the user completes the calibrations, since it encompasses all the sensors. When this bar is fully loaded, it indicates that all the readings from the sensor can be considered valid. Chapter 3 – How to use Opit Dev To measure the boreholes, the user will first need the rope, the screw lock carabiner, the armband, touch pen and a smartphone. Connect both carabiners, one for the harness belt rope connection and one for the rope probe connection, making sure to secure the locks. The rope is marked with a color code. For measurements meter by meter, the user should take notice of the white marks. For measurements every two meters, the user should look out for the black marks. And for measurements every three meters, the user should keep an eye out for the red marks. Please note that this color pattern repeats itself for the whole length of the rope. The armband should be placed in a comfortable position with the phone, allowing the operator to have a better grip during the measuring process. Before starting the measurements, the user should go to the Settings tab and select the preferred hole measuring direction – up hole or down hole. Following that step, the user can enter a project if working online. To work offline, the user will need to first go to online mode, swipe left over the intended blast and download to offline mode. If the user chooses to work on offline mode only, 
it is possible to create a new blast from scratch. As seen on the screen, the offline mode will be demonstrated. To create a blast, just click on the Add sign and fill out the fields with the blast information, blast name, blast location and number of boreholes. After clicking on the newly created blast, click on the first hole and define the step 1, 2 or 3 meters. This will determine the interval between measurements after pulling or lowering the probe. For this demonstration, the step of 1 meter was chosen and the uphole direction was used. Clicking on Start Survey will turn the LED blue. The user should lower the probe until the end of the borehole. Register the offset value by estimating the distance from the borehole's collar to the next visible mark on the rope. If the downhole direction was selected, this value should be added at the end of the survey. For every measurement made, a smartphone will beep and vibrate. Keep in mind that it's important to stabilize the probe before every measurement. The app will show a warning after the survey is completed in case the measurements were not taken with enough stabilization of the probe. At any time during the survey process, the user can undo the last measurement or restart the borehole measurement process if necessary. The last measurement should be taken when the first mark on the rope is aligned with the collar of the borehole. If using downhole direction, the user should take the last measurement when the probe touches the bottom of the borehole and add the offset value, ending the survey afterwards. If the probe is outside the borehole, the phone should establish connection automatically. The application only allows the user to end the survey when the probe is connected to the smartphone. After completing the survey, the user is able to see the side, back and top views of the hole, as well as a summary of all the measurements registered during the process. The user can upload the data directly to Opit Cloud and import it to the Opit Blast software. It's also possible to generate a report directly from the app and to export data to a CSV or RHD file. Chapter 4 – Charging and Maintenance The user can check the battery percentage of the probe in the top right corner of the app. As a battery saver mechanism, if the probe isn't in survey mode with the blue LED on, the probe will automatically turn itself off within 5 minutes. We recommend cleaning the probe before storing it in the case. If the battery is low, it is possible to charge the probe in the car with the lighter adapter provided or in the office with the power brick. In order to begin charging, the user needs to detach the tip of the probe. Just connect the cable to the USB Type-C socket inside the probe and to a power source. Two O-rings are also included in the hard case. When the need arises to substitute the O-rings, detach the tip of the OPIT dev, remove the old rings and place the new ones. Grease is available to apply on the rings, making sure they are correctly placed. As a last maintenance step, join the tip of the probe with the main body in a tight fit. Thank you so much for watching. OPIT Dev. Powered by Opit Blast.